add that. Hi, um, I have um, a question about your writing process. Um, your books have a lot of characters that have a lot of potential, but they're only in the books for a really short time. I'm thinking of um, characters like Weasel or the small brown girl Nettles. So I was wondering, when you write characters like these, do you have like a backstory in mind? Do you know what happens to them in the future? Or are they only in your head for the brief time that they're actually in the books? Um, I usually always have a backstory in mind <coughs> for the most minor character. Now, it might not be a, a really detailed backstory. You know, I'm not saying I could fill up a whole book with the backstory of Weasel. <laughs> but I kind of know where she came from and how she got to where she was. Uh, I don't necessarily know what happened to her after she parts from our characters. Um, that's another issue. Uh, if she comes back into the story, then I'll probably figure out what happened between then and now. You know, I mentioned uh, Jack Vance earlier, um, a writer I... I have loved and admired for a long, long time. I did a tribute anthology to him, uh, Songs of the Dying Earth, uh, with 40 other writers doing stories in the tradition of Jack Vance. Vance had a gift of making every character in his book, even if they only appeared for a page, come to life as a person. You always felt that this was a real person who had his own way of looking. He didn't know that he was just a a one-page walk-on. He thought the story was about him. Uh, and I've always tried to keep Vance's approach in mind when I'm doing my, my characters, you know, because that's, that's the way the real life functions, you know. Um, I mean, we, we're all individuals and we all see the world through our own eyes. For me, I'm experiencing this event here as be up on stage doing a master class. And, you know, you guys are experiencing it as well. This is the latest event I went to, and after this I get to have lunch or something like that. And and some of you may be fascinated, some of you may be bored. I don't know. But we're all seeing it our own way, and, and I try to keep that in mind with the characters. And that the spear carriers in a book don't know that they're spear carriers. They think it's 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 their story. They're living the story of their life. So you, if you keep that in mind, and usually it just takes a a, a touch of someone who doesn't just say the line that they need to say to further the plot, but they say some other line that reflects there's an actual human being there who has their own agenda as well as f furthering the plot. That can be enough to bring them to life. At least that's what I try to do. And Vance was the one who sh kind of showed me how to do that. Question, oui. 